With the seasons halted indefinitely, no one really knows when the international season will pick up again. But what we can talk about is the guys that are stepping up and the guys that could be ready to go into the Springbok mix one of these days. Be it immediately, be it for a guy that gets injured and this guy gets called up. Or next year for the Lions series. Look, we haven't really seen any Pro 14 yet. We saw the Pro 14 last year. So I can make my calls uh, for Springbok bolters from that. And then from 7 weeks of Super Rugby. I can also call some guys putting up their hands for Springbok selection. So there are a couple of guys. The first guy on my list, Oxen Che. He already put his hand up last year with Pro 14. And then he moved over to the Sharks now. Uh, with Beast retiring with the Springboks, he moved to the Sharks taking over Beast's jersey. And he may want to step into that same jersey in the Springboks team as well. He outscrummed most of his opposition so far on numerous occasions. And he's regularly in my dream team. And he, remember, he has already one Springbok cap to his name. He's still young. He could probably make the call up again. Another guy we know has been on the radar for quite a while now. Joseph Dweba from the Cheetahs. Though he is not a super rugby player, he is consistently one of the best players in the Pro 40. Not just one of the best hookers. Uh, with Brits retiring and then Bunambi now out with his injury. This could actually be his time to get his call up. Look, he is reportedly going to Bordeaux in France next season or this season if it restarts again. Uh, but they have said that this won't fault his chances to still go to the Springboks. So that is an obvious sign that he is on the radar. Yaku Kutsia is the next guy that I could list. With Francois Lowe also retiring, he was the only real fetcher in the Springboks side. So they will really need someone to replace him because Francois Lowe has been the only fetcher for the Springboks for a couple of years now. He's been in fantastic form and he can actually play number 6, 7 and 8. So it's a guy that you can really put in, in any role there. Uh, he still kind of needs to grow into one specific position there. But he's still young so he can do that. He's a real workhorse and he will want to get into that side. Then exactly the same goes for James Fenter who moved from Johannesburg, the Lions, to Durban for the Sharks and that was one of the best career moves he could have made. He's consistently playing for them, consistently in the starting team and consistently making turnovers and even more tackles every week. He's been in a couple of dream teams. They're talking about him all over the world or in the Southern Hemisphere at least. So I think he could get a call up sometime soon. Jarno Augustus is another loose forward where South Africa is quite blessed at the moment. Him on the other hand is an out and out number 8. No one plays more like Dwayne Vermeulen than Jarno or Trocki as they call him. Well, except maybe Dwayne Vermeulen. He's probably the guy that plays the most like Dwayne. Uh, Vermeulen is sticking around till the Lions series, they said. But in the event of an injury, it would probably be the best for the Springboks to replace Dwayne with a guy that's very similar to him. And what would be better to replace him with a guy that has already been in the mix. Then another guy, Norche from the Sharks, who has already been a Bok. He's also just another number eight. And he's not at all like Dwayne Vermeil. And he's more like that guy that you can put into the centers if need be. And you have a lot of injuries. He moved from the Stormers to the Sharks earlier this year. And again, a good move for his career. The Sharks are really utilizing him. Getting him into space. Getting him that running meters. Because he is very quick. He's a sevens player as well. And he's just got a handful of caps so far for the Springboks. And he will want to add... To that, he's only 26 years old now. Another shock on this list, Nohamba being a number 9, he might struggle to get game time. Being behind Faf, Reinach and Herschel Yankees. Faf being 28, Reinach 30, Herschel Yankees only 24 years old. So he might have to wait a little while still. But if an injury comes along, you will want to be there on the forefront. Be there the first guy on the list. But he is still behind Fansail and Papir in that respect so he needs to play his skin out and he is doing that at the moment so I think he might be a bolter for the side.
Cohen Bosch is a guy that you knew I was going to list today. No one can deny the 22 year old has been in great form for the Sharks. Uh, he's keen to add to that two caps he did get in 2017 already. It's a while back now. And he's being used correctly by the Sharks. Yet again, the Sharks are using all their players right this year. And that's what's happening at the moment. That's why they are doing uh, things that well. The guy standing in Bosch's way at the moment though is Damien Willemse. Both of them are fullback fly halves and both of them very young. Both of them would probably be the second or third choice if they did get picked. So Bosch's job at the moment is to outplay Willemse at a weekly basis. At the winger is where South Africa have a whole host of talent. At the box we have Colby, Mapimpi and Nkosi. Each of them could play in any international side anywhere. But what happens if someone gets injured? Even then, we still have a lot of quality wings in South Africa or South African wings outside of South Africa as well. But the guys that I think are probably bolters to go to the Springboks in the near future would be Dylan Lades yet again. He's always seeming to be picked for the training squads but never getting into the squad that much. He has 10 caps so far. He's been good. But guys that have been great. Speckman. He's been really good. But he is 31 years old. Will he get a call up? That's probably a bit old to get a debut. But under Rassi. Things work a little bit differently. So Nim Naber might still pick him. For this games uh, coming up. If there are any games. And then get a Lions tour next year. Uh, he is a Blitzbox star. He knows how to play international rugby. Tyrone Green, a youngster coming through, he can cover both wing and fullback, and he is probably one of the only things standing out in the Lions squad at the moment. The Lions have not been that good this year, and he keeps on questioning the defense. The 25-year-old Sergil Peterson is another guy that has also been good so far with the limited amount of ball he gets at the Stormers. And then Tambwe from the Sharks that has also made his move from Johannesburg also has been making moves that count on the field. Uh, but he's probably not going to get a start this year maybe, but maybe next year if he can continue going on this form. A guy that deserves to get a call up as a winger for the Springboks uh, more than any other super rugby winger, is Rubs from the Cheetahs. 24-year-old, he was last year's Pro 14 top try scorer, and he is a prolific runner, and no, he could do it for the Springboks. And then another controversial guy from the Pro 14 that I could probably list, uh, a lot of guys don't want him in the squad, a lot of people say uh, he made his decision already, it is Dwan van der Merwe. Yes, he can almost play for Scotland from, I think, July. He can be a Scottish player. But if we can get him a test cap for the Springboks, he can't do that anymore. He's 1.93 meters tall. He's 106 kgs. He's bigger and taller than any other winger we have in South Africa. He's different than any other winger we have here. He's a lot like uh, Julian Savia from the the All Blacks, so getting him in will give us a different type of Springbok winger, but that's just a controversial selection, what do you think if he should actually be selected, because if we don't select him, he will definitely be in that Scottish side. At the fullback, South Africa currently has Vili Leroux and Galant with Willemse probably covering them as well. But one person that could step up there as well is the 22-year-old Farsi who has been making the cut in Super Rugby so far. He's quick, he has a great sidestep and he finds the gaps. I was skeptical about him in the start, I can't lie, I'm honest. But at the moment, I really think he has what it takes. He's very good, he does uh, get the gaps a lot, but... That's if he's utilized right. Guys, who of this list would you definitely put in the Springbok side if we do see international rugby being played again? Who didn't I name in this list? I know I probably forgot someone big. That always happens with these type of things. Guys, also check out my social media. I am a lot more busy with that, especially Instagram at the moment. I'm trying to build that up a bit. I was always neglecting that a bit. And then also check out any of these other videos and then I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Bye.